Christmas magic. When I was little, I liked Christmas time the best. At Christmas time, everything twinkled and sparkled and looked different and magic. One Christmas tree for Grandad. But there was one Christmas when we were going to have a very special Christmas day. Climbing up. One Christmas cake for Grandad. We were going to stay with Grandad. We were going to make Christmas magic for Grandad too. Yeah. I chose a special Christmas present for Grandad from me. It was a big, big Santa. Before we went to Grandad, we listened to Christmas carols. Carols were in a big, high place. When we came out of a big, high place, it was snowing. Oh, Santa will love this. Why? So the reindeer can pull a sleigh in the snow. The next day was Christmas Eve. It was all snowy. It was magical. Hooray! Santa can ride his sleigh. We put all the special things for Grandad's Christmas in the car. It was a long way to Grandad's. Mummy and me played I Spy. White and fluffy. Climb! Counting cars. How many red cars you can see? One, two, and sang songs. I love Willie and Willie, Willie loves me. me. We've been together we since we were wee. It was a long way to Grandad. We had to stop for lunch in a little cafe. After the cafe, Mummy drove the car. Daddy and me played I Spy. White and crunchy. Snow. Yay! Counting cars. So if you see a blue car, we count, OK? Blood! And Three, sang songs. Four. We play hide and we play run. run. We, we have funny, funny, funny fun. fun. Then Daddy fell asleep. Mummy, can you tell me a story? Uh, no, Ted, no. I've got to concentrate on driving. Outside, I couldn't see much. Just snow. Are we there yet? Uh, no, Ted, not yet. It was a long way to Grandad. I was bored. Hey, Tig, long journeys can be boring when there's nothing to do. But there is something you can do all by yourself. You can make up a story, a finger and thumb story, a finger and thumb Christmas story. Your fingers and thumbs can be all the different people in the story. Yeah, that's right. Go for it, Tig. Have a think and tell yourself a story with your fingers and thumbs. Yes, I thought. I can tell myself a story. Once upon a time, Mummy and Daddy and wee Pinky Tig walked through the snow. A reindeer came along, pulling a sleigh. In the sleigh was Santa. Santa looked just like Grandad. Then suddenly, we arrived at Grandad's house. It was like magic. I was so happy to see oh. Grandad. Oh, happy Christmas Eve. The funny thing was, there was no snow now. Grandad, there's no snow. Oh, don't worry, Tig. Snow or no snow, Santa will still get here. One Christmas tree for Grandad. Oh. Presents for Grandad. Can I open them now? No, not until tomorrow. We were bringing Christmas magic to Grandad. Our special Christmas Eve box. Whoa. Mummy had a special Christmas Eve box. Grandad said I could open it. When I opened the box, there was a brand new pair of Christmas pajamas. A stocking to hang up for Santa. For all my presents. And some funny toys for us all to play with. Frog race. Oh, frog race. We'll go make the summer. Come on then. Then Grandad and me had a race. OK, Tick, we ready? One, two, three, go! 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 <laughs> After supper, I put in my new Christmas pyjamas. Outside there was still no snow. Biscuits for Santa. We need to leave them at the chimney. Oh, but look, Grandad doesn't have a chimney. 
Granddad needs to have a chimney. I know. Why don't we go and put it in the hall, OK? Come on then, we'll go and leave it in the hall. Chimney or no chimney, Santa's still going to leave you presents. Granddad didn't have a chimney. So we left the biscuits at the front door. I hung my stocking at the end of my bed. Mummy, how will Santa know I'm at Grandad's house, not my house? Because Santa will always know where you are, Tig. Right, come on, into bed. <laughs> Santa will always know where you are, said Mummy. Mummy kissed me. Night, night. But I couldn't go to sleep. I was worried. There was no snow for Santa's sleigh. No chimney for Santa to climb down. And did Santa know I was staying at Grandad's? Hey, Tig, it's a worry to wonder how Santa will visit with no snow, no chimney, and not knowing where you are staying. But hey, sometimes things just happen. That's the magic. Especially when Grandad says, snow or no snow, Santa will still get here. Especially when Daddy says, chimney or no chimney, Santa will still bring presents. Especially when Mummy says, Santa will always know where you are. I want to see Santa. Hey, I'm sure Santa wants to see you too. But for magic to happen, there's no peeping. If you peep, it wouldn't be magic. Go for it, Tig. Pop into bed and snug down to sleep. Think of cosy, happy thoughts, and soon it will be Christmas Day. Close your eyes for sleepy buys. Float all fluffy and light. Smiles and kisses and giggles and hugs will snooze you through the night. No peeping. And then it was Christmas Day. My room was filled with snowflakes. It was magic. At the end of the bed was my stocking filled by Santa. Merry Christmas, Tig. Merry Christmas. Oh. Wow, so Santa found you. I thought he would. Have you Around the Christmas tree, we opened more presents. Best of all, was giving Mummy her present from me. Oh my goodness, I love these. Oh, lovely. Very nice. What is it? Best of all, was it? giving Daddy his present from me. Oh, I love it. It suits you. Best of all, was giving Grandad his present from me. Oh, <laughs> His very own Santa. Just like you, Grandad. I think he looks a bit like me. My best present was my magic set from Grandad. No, it's Ted's magic show. Right. After lunch, I did a magic show. No peeping, I said. It wouldn't be magic if you do. Abracadabra. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to do the most amazing trick. Whoa. There's an empty hat. Right. <laughs> it's only a toy spider. <laughs> Go for it, Tig. I liked making Christmas magic for Grandad. There's an empty hat. Right. I love Willy. Changing my room. When I was a baby, I slept in a cot. It had big push-up sides. Willy slept there too. When I was bigger, I got a bed. My old cot was kept on the other side of my room. I liked it there. Willy liked it there too. 
One day I was busy building. Mummy said a new baby called Ben wanted to borrow my old cot. Tig, can baby Ben borrow your cot? Okay, I said. Thanks, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Daddy took his toolbox off to my bedroom. I could hear lots of bangs. Daddy was taking my old cot to bed. He took off one end. He took off the other end. Crash! Daddy shouted, bother. Mummy thought the crash is funny. Daddy clumped down the hall with the cot to bed. When I heard the clumping and clatters, I had a look. My old cot looked different, all squashed in bits. I wanted my old cot back in my room. So I hid a bit of the cot behind the armchair. Daddy clumped, clumped along the hall. Wait a minute. Daddy was fuddled. Who's moved the cot? I haven't touched it. Daddy saw the cot behind the armchair. Tig. I want it back in my room, I said. Daddy said my room was much better without the cot. Mummy said, we can make my room all exciting. I said I wanted it the same. Hi, Tig. Change is scary, but you know what? Change is fun too. Like changing your doll's clothes. Changing the colour of your shoes. Changing what you build with bricks. Whoop. There. Hey, I'm changing your face from grumpy to sad to happy. So go for it, Tig. Have some fun and change your room. Hey. And you'll make baby Ben happy too. He'll love your old cot. Yes, I thought. What's the fuss? Baby Ben can have the cot. There it is. Come on then, let's go and change your room around. Go and and I can have fun changing my room around. <laughs> Mummy and me had fun moving things. Without the cot, we had loads of room. That's us all finished. What do you think of your room? I don't see my toolbox. Oh! Daddy found Willie in his toolbox. Oh no, there's a spider in my toolbox. Who is it? Oh, it's only Willie. I like my room. And I like changing things. I love Willie. Bus ride. When I was little, my daddy took me to fly my kite. Is that the bus? Wait for the door to open. We went on a bus. The bus ride was fun. Can we get a two to the park, please? Daddy gave me the ticket to hold. Thank you. Well, we came through. We sat on the chair. And Willie looked out of the window. When we got to a hilly bit, okay. Daddy pressed the bell and the bus stopped. Bye-bye. Thank you. Daddy said thank you. That's a good girl. What a good girl you are too. I said thank you and bye-bye. Whoosh! Up on the hill, Daddy and me flew my kite. He flew my kite in lots of different ways. Sometimes I ran, sometimes Daddy ran, sometimes we both ran. After flying the kite, I was tired. 
We waited for the bus home. When the bus arrived, a man took so long, I ran in front of him. Take, said Daddy. Wait your turn. Uh, two, please. I took the ticket. Take, said Daddy. Don't snatch. Sorry. Shh, said Daddy. Sit down, said Daddy. No feet on the seat. Daddy was getting really grumpy. A lady kept staring at me. I didn't like the lady staring at me. Tank, don't be so rude. I was tired and bored. Tank. Daddy was grumpy. Just in front of me was the bus bell. Hmm, I thought. Tank, did you press the bell? Tank, no! Said Daddy. Daddy was cross. Who rang the bell? It, it, it was us. We're, we're just coming. Come on, we're not going to have to go off the bus now. Get Wooly. Sorry, driver. Thank you, said Daddy to the driver. We're going to have to walk home. But I'm tired. Well, we'll have to wait for the next bus, OK? Horrid, Daddy. Just sit on that. Put your wee bottom on that, OK? OK. I was tired. Hey, Tig, I know you feel tired, but Daddy's not horrid. Daddy's tired too. But when Daddy's tired, he still says thank you to the bus driver. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't throw his bus ticket all over the bus. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't make a face to strangers. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you stop caring. When you feel tired, you can still be nice to people and make sure that whatever you do doesn't upset them. Ting! Hey and Tig, you pressed the bus bell, not Daddy. And that's why you're waiting for another bus. Daddy cares about you and you care about Daddy. So tell him. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I love my daddy. I said sorry to daddy. Sorry, dad. Oh, thank you, Tig. That's OK. Open sesame. <laughs> Come on, Tig. When the next bus came, I said thank you to the bus driver. Thank you. Oh, thanks, driver. When a lady smiled at me, I smiled at her. I showed her Willy. That's only a toy spider. I like smiles. I like being me. I love Willy. The birthday present. When I was little, I had a big, big birthday present. It was all wrapped up. When I unwrapped my big, big birthday present, I found a bicycle inside. It was all shiny and pink and purple with a bell and a basket and a seat in the back for Willy. Mummy said, do you want to ride your bike? Are you going for a ride? Not in my pyjamas. Not in my pyjamas, I said. When I got dressed, I pushed my bike outside. Should I help you ride your bike, said Mummy. No, I said, I just want to push my bike myself. I love my big new bike. Willie likes my new bike too. That night I wrapped my bicycle up. I wanted to keep it all shiny and new. The next day, Mummy and me went shopping with our bikes. Shall I help you ride your bike? said Mummy. No, I just want to push my bike. It was a long way to the shops. Round the fountain, past the playgrounds, I pushed my bike along. Going down the hill, my bike ran away. Boing! <gasps> Tig, you need to use your brakes. Do you want me to show you? No, I said. I just want to push my bike. When we got to the long path, I was puffed. 
Tig, why don't you sit on your bike and I'll show you how to pedal? It'll be so much easier. No. No, I said. I just want to push my bike. At the shops, Mummy bought lots of things. I bought a flower for Daddy. Come on, Tig. On the way home, we stopped and watched the big children on their bikes. They look like they're having fun. They're having fun, said Mummy. I pushed my bike some more and then I stopped. I didn't want to push my bike. Tig, let me help you on your bike. No, I said. I didn't know what to do. Hey, Tig. Pushing a bike is OK, but riding a bike looks much more fun, doesn't it? Pedal, 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 wee! But doing something new for the first time can be scary. Wee! Ta-da! Not quite as scary as that, but still scary. All you need is a little help to get you going. Pedal, 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 wee! Hey, Tig, sometimes you just need to ask for someone to help. So, why don't you ask your mum to help you ride your bike? You might find it a lot easier than you thought. Pedal, 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 pedal wee! Go for it, Tig. You'll still have your new bike, but now you'll be riding it. Yes, I thought. I'll ask Mummy to help me ride my bike. Now, if you can sit on your bike, and if you put your feet on the... Pedal, she showed me the bell, the pedals, the brakes, and how to go round and round. Riding my bike was easier than I thought. So Mummy and me rode all the way home. When Mummy saw Willie, she nearly fell off her bike. What's that in the back of your bike? He's only my toy spider, I said. I love riding my bike. And I love Willie. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Willie came too. We had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Tig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woohoo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clash, clash, clash. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Clash, clash, clash. Hello there, tickets, please. Tickets, please, said the man. Through the country, chip, chip, chip. under the bridge, chip, chip, chip. I love the train. Chip, chip, chip. Come on, said Daddy, let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever. <laughs> Up the hill we chuck. He said the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. Good girl. Time for lunch before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to go home. Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. No, I thought. I don't want to go home. 
Maybe if I hid Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin. Maybe I put it in the bin. Oops. Daddy's in a tooth, Tig. Poor Daddy. Hi, Tig. When you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day is for talking about to mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at daddy's pictures. Oops! And this best day you can carry away with you. Your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey! And there's more fun to come! Woo -woo! Chuff, 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 chuff! Go for it, Tig! Help Daddy and say sorry. Then you can have more of your best day together! I thought I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. You were happy again. Oh, there, do you have tickets? I showed Willie to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? He's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Willie. I can't see a couple up there. Quiet. When I was little, my mummy took me to play with my friends. We walked through a wood to the playground. Willie came too. We get to the special clearing. The wood was quiet. The wood had trees. The trees were tall. I liked looking high up in the trees. They touched the sky. When the wind blew, the leaves swished. When the wind stopped blowing, the leaves stopped rattling. And it was very quiet. Some leaves had fallen off the trees. We walked on the leaves. Hi, hi, can you kick them? I kicked the leaves. Mummy kicked the leaves too. We kicked the leaves. It was fun. We made lots of noise. When we stopped kicking leaves, it was very quiet. On the way to see my friends, we heard a roaring noise. There was a waterfall. The water fell over and rushed and gushed into a river. The waterfall made so much noise, we shouted. When we left the waterfall, it was quiet. We climbed steps up a little hill. Timmy and Louise and Angel should be here soon, said Mummy. From the top of the hill, we could see a ship in the trees. We made lots of noises. Timmy! Angel and Louise! Is there anyone there? When we stopped shouting, it was very quiet. We found some planks. We'll wait here, said Mummy. Timmy, Louise and Angel will be here any minute, so why don't we wait here for them? I didn't like waiting. It was quiet, very quiet. I didn't like the quiet. Hey, Tig, the quiet can be boring. And the quiet can be scary too. The quiet can make you think there's nothing there. But the quiet isn't quite as quiet as you may think. Shh, you just have to listen a little more. And when you listen, you can hear lots of friendly sounds. A bird singing. A pigeon cooing. Dog barking, woof woof. The leaves tinkling in the 
the breeze. A twig breaking. <laughs> That's your mummy. So go for it, Tig. Have fun in the quiet and listen to all the different sounds. You might even hear Timmy and Louise before Mummy does. Yes, I thought. I listened to all the different sounds. <laughs> and then I heard the sound I'd been waiting for. Mummy, I can hear Timmy, Louise and Angel. Oh, right, let's go and find them then. all the adventure playthings. We made lots of noise in the wood. <laughs> there wasn't any quiet while we played. When Whirly slid down the slide, Angel's mummy got a shot. It's only a toy spider. When we walked home, it was quiet again in the wood. I like the quiet and I love Willy. Losing things. When I was little, Daddy and Mummy took me to the jungle house. I wore my favourite wild animal clothes. My tiger woolly hat, monkey gloves and hissy snake scar. Willie came too. I was very cold going to the jungle house. Inside the jungle house, the jungle was very hot. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's so warm in here. Look, look at all the glass. The jungle house was made of glass. There was a big palm tree in a pond with fishes. Tell you what, I think we need something to keep us going on our trek through the jungle. Mummy gave me some raisins. We saw a lady with no clothes. Oh, she is made of marble. Daddy said she was marbles. She didn't look like a marble to me. Oh, Daddy said the middle of the jungle smelt like fried socks. My head itched. Willie, where are you? Willie kept hiding in the trees. Is Willie in the jungle? Daddy said, careful not to lose Willie. I told Willie not to climb any more trees. <laughs> when we left the jungle house, it was cold again. We walked back through the park. After a bit, I got so cold I couldn't walk. Where are your gloves? Where's your hat? Where's your scarf? Oh, no. Oh. Where's your hat, said Daddy. Well, let's get a scarf around you. Let's get you nice and warm. Where's your gloves, said Mummy. And where's your scarf? I don't know, I said. Back in the house, it was nice and warm. I was sad. I'd lost my favourite clothes. Tig. I'm so sad that you lost your hat and your gloves and your scarf. Such a shame. Daddy made me feel more sad. Hey Tig, I know how you feel. Losing things makes me feel sad too. Hey Tig, maybe we could find your lost things. Take a deep breath and think back just to where you might have left things. First, we went to the jungle house. It was very hot. We looked at the fishes in the pond with the big palm tree. You took your monkey gloves off to eat the raisins. Then we saw the lady with no clothes. You took off your hissy snake scarf. In the middle of the jungle, it smelled like fried socks. Your head itched and you took off your tiger hat. There you see, now you can remember where you left everything. I thought very hard. I remembered everything. Mum, I got my hat stuff in the jungle house. Really? I told Mum and Daddy where my things were. Should I go back and get them? Daddy went back to the jungle house. He found my monkey gloves by the palm in the pond. My scarf 
by the lady with no clothes. My tiger hat in the middle of the jungle smelt of fried socks. And Daddy told us how he found everything. Well, I found the hat, the scarf, mm -hmm. a, and I also found the gloves. And it was because Tech knew where they were. <coughs> Daddy jumped. It's only my toy spider, I said. I'm glad I never lost Willy. I love Willy. Granny, no, no. When I was little, my daddy took me to see my granny. Willie came too. Hello. Hello. Yes, I love my granny. Come on, let's go. What will we have? We'll have some tea, will we? Granny and daddy had a cup of tea. Granny is daddy's mummy. <laughs> That's funny. Can you tell me a story about daddy? I asked Granny to tell me the story about when Daddy was little. I think we'll wait until Daddy's gone. No, said Granny, later. You be a good girl for Granny when Daddy's away. I wanted to help Granny, so I took Daddy's cup of tea away for her. Oh, no, sweetheart, just leave that because let Granny... No, said Granny, be careful. Granny will take care of Granny said no a lot. Yes. Dad's going to go away. Mm. You bet. When girl. Daddy left, I had my granny to myself. I'll see you later. I like having Tig here. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Granny told me the story about how Daddy made a mud pie. As a mud pie, a mud pie. Well, he was carrying a great big tin full of mud. He said, I've made you a mud pie. This is for you, Mummy, and for Jean. <laughs> I wanted to make a mud pie too. I wanted to make Granny laugh like Daddy. I looked for a tin to fill with mud. Clever girl. No. But I don't think we can be making any mud pies today. No, said Granny. I wanted to actually make a mud pie. That's a heavy one. Granny had lots of exciting things around her house. Granny says that everything tells a story. I saw a big knife. What's that, Granny? Granny said that was Great Granddad's knife. Can I see, I said. No, said Granny. Mustn't touch. Granny had a big glass bottle. When you look through the glass, it made everything move and bend. Careful, darling. No, no. When I tried to touch the bottle, Granny said no. Granny said no a lot. Granny has a staircase in her house. I love to run up and down Granny's staircase. No, Tig. Don't run up and down the stairs, dear. I don't want you to fall. No running on the stairs. Granny, no, no. Hey, Tig. Granny doesn't just say no. She says yes, too. But there'd be no fun to say yes if Granny didn't sometimes say no. And Granny's nose keeps you safe. No to spilling hot tea. No to touching sharp knives. No to running and falling down the stairs. So try thinking of all the things to do that will let Granny say yes. Yes to playing with your toys. Yes to asking for stories. Yes to showing you the treasure box. Come on! Hey and Tig, why don't you tell Granny how much you love her too? Yes, I thought. I love my Granny. I'm going to do things so Granny can say yes. Love you, Granny. I love Aww. you, Granny. Oh, I take darling, I love you too. Can I look at the treasure box? Oh, of course you can. Yes, said Granny. Can I put the jewels on? Yes, said Granny. Ooh. Granny saw Willy. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. It's only a toy spy. <sighs> but you can cuddle Willy, yes. I want to find a ring. And I love Willy. Shadows. 
When I was little, I didn't like the dark. Willie didn't like the dark either. So Daddy bought me my very own light. The light came in a box. A lamp. A lamp. Oh, that looks lovely, Ted. Should we go and set it up? Yeah, why don't we go and plug it in in your bedroom? See what your new lamp is. Daddy okay. plugged the light in. Then we turned the light on. Turn it off. On. And then off again. The box. I like the box that the light came in. Mummy said I can make something with the box. I made a puppet show. I painted inside the box. I didn't have puppets for my puppet show. When Mummy finished her work, she made me puppet birds. The birds were so sweet. She had little beaks and feather wings. The puppet birds could fly. Do you think they're friends? No, brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. At bedtime, I switched on my new light. Daddy and Mummy came to see my puppet show. Two little dicky birds sitting on the wall. The puppet show was all about two birds who sat on the wall. The birds flew away and then came back. Come back, Tweety. Daddy and Mummy liked the puppet show. I snuggled down with Wooly. And all your lights will stay on until you fall asleep. Mummy left my new light on. Mummy left the big light on too. Then I went to sleep. That night I woke up. All the lights were off, but my very own light was on. It glowed. I felt safe, but when I looked up at the ceiling, something was new. I saw hairy monsters. I hid under the bedclothes. I peeped out. The hairy monsters were still there. I wanted to run away. Hey, Tig, things can look scary at night because things can look different. The light and the dark play tricks. You just need to look again to find out what something really is. So I wonder what those hairy monsters could be. Let's peep. There's your new light. And look, just above the new light is your fluffy sheep mobile. And over there is... Oops, big hairy monsters. Round and round they go, just like the sheep, because that's what the hairy monsters are, just the shadows of fluffy sheep. So nothing scary, just shadows. You can make shadows too, Tig. You can make your very own shadow puppet show. Go for it, Tig. No more scaries. Yes, I thought. No monsters, just shadows. I'll have fun making my own shadow puppet show. Mummy and Daddy came to see what I was doing. When they saw a big hairy monster with eight legs walking across the ceiling, they went, <gasps> ah! There's a little spider on the wood. I like my new light. What's this, I like making shadow puppet shows. I love Willy. Hair wash day. One day when I was little, my daddy came home early from work. Had a good day. It was nearly bath time, but Mummy said me and Daddy could play a little. Okay, you two, there's time for a quick Come game before bath time. Is Willie going to play as well? Hide and seek, hide and seek, I said. Okay, right. Willie played too. First, okay. Daddy okay. head okay. first. No peeping, he said. One, two, I counted one, to ten, one, one, two, but I couldn't oh. quite stop peeping. Nine, ten, where's your knock? Here I go. I found Daddy behind the sofa. <laughs> Willie's turn to hide, I said. Right, so six, seven. No peeping. Eight, nine, 
Ten. Wooly was hiding under a cushion. Let's see, is he behind there? Daddy found Wooly. There you are. Now it is going to be your turn to hide. And me and Wooly are going to both close our eyes and we'll count to ten. OK, you ready? No peeking, Wooly. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Daddy and Wooly open their eyes. The Wendy house. Are you in there, Tig? They look for a long, long time. Anyone here? No. Bath's run. We'll just be a minute. Did you get the shampoo? Shampoo? I like to have my bath, but I hated having my hair washed. I crept into my little house and hid some more. There you go. Don't be too long. Tig! I think she's behind this curtain. Daddy couldn't find me. Holy, she's not there. I didn't want my hair washed. I think she might be in our bedroom. Mummy and Daddy looked all around the house for me. Where's Tig? Well, she's not in the living room. Oh, dear. Found you, Tig! No wonder we couldn't find you. You moved tiding places. No hair wash. So that's it. You don't want your hair washed. Stingy. So close your eyes like in hide and seek. Eyes tight shut, no peeping, so nothing will get in your eyes. Then count to ten. One rubber dubber. Two rubber dubber, three rubber dubber, four rubber dubber, five rubber dubber, six rubber dubber, seven rubber dubber, eight rubber dubber, nine rubber dubber, ten rubber dubber, ping, all done. No more stings. <laughs> hey Tig, go get your hair scrumpled. <laughs> yeah, rubber dubber. I'm here, I shouted. I couldn't find you, said Daddy. Before the bath gets cold. Oh, we going to wash Willie's hair as well? Bath time, said Mum. Mummy washed my hair. Me, I closed my eyes tight. Cold. Like in hide and seek. I think it's too hot. But you can do it. One dubba dubba. Two rubber dubba. Three rubber dubba. Four rubber dubba. Five rubber dubba. Six rubber dubba. Seven rubber dubba. Eight rubber dubba. Nine rubber dubba. Ten rubber dubba. And swish! When my hair was washed, there was a big splash. <gasps> and Mummy jumped. <gasps> Don't worry, Mummy. Ooh, and my toy spider. Ah. Mummy dried my hair. Daddy dried Willy. I like having my hair washed. It's so wet. Oh. So does Willy. I love Willie. The hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Mummy went to see daddy. So I played with Angel. Willie came too. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. <laughs> Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me when Daddy folded me up. I liked the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. That's an ambulance. I like the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. Well, we squirted you. smelly stuff on our hands. Yeah. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. No. Uh, yeah. oh, don't forget, Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime. But people were still in bed. What are those people doing, Mummy? They're all getting better. 
Mommy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people were wheeled around in their beds. Looking for their pajamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. There was a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet with strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my Daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. <laughs> Daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy is still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better. But he's still Daddy. Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better. But he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Diddly doo doo, diddly doo. <laughs> but they are all there to make him better. You look different at angels when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Whee! And then one day Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Shall I tell you the funny story about what happened? Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in the hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. And Silly daddy hadn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. <laughs> it's only a toy spider. <laughs> <laughs> I like hospitals. I love my daddy. And I love Willie. Dobbin. When I was little, my auntie Shona works at a riding school. There were horses at the riding school. Hi, Shona. I didn't like the horses. When I visited Dobbin. my auntie Shona, I stayed in the car. Hi, Tig. You're not coming to see the horses? No. Auntie Shona worked very hard at the stables, wheeling muck and stuff. Lovely. Teaching children to ride. Lovely girls. I liked my Auntie Shona. Willie liked my Auntie Shona too. One day we had some washing for Auntie Shona. I sat in the car. I didn't like horses. Hello, Tig. Then I saw a horse that I hadn't seen before. Who's that? Oh, that's Dobbin. The horse was very friendly. Bye, Shona. Bye. The next time we saw Shona, I said, Can I see Dobbin? Come on, Dobbin. then, said Shona. Dobbin was gentle. Dobbin, Dobbin was friendly. Dobbin let me stroke him. I liked Dobbin. Dobbin was beautiful. I wasn't scared of horses anymore. I said hello to all the other horses. But I love Dobbin the best. One day I saw children riding horses. Can I ride Dobbin? Dobbin's too old to ride, said Shona. We have a new horse arriving next week. He's just the right size for you. Next week, when I arrived, I wanted to see Dobbin. Can we ask the horse? Where's Dobbin, I said. Dobbin isn't here just now. Dobbin isn't here, said Auntie hat. Shona. Auntie Shona showed me my new here. riding hat. Okay. Where is Dobbin? Dobbin's gone away, said Shona. When can I see Dobbin again? I said. 
you won't be seeing Dobbin again. Dobbin died. But where did Dobbin go? I said. He went to sleep. Dobbin just went to sleep, said Shona. He was very happy. Right. Time so for your riding lesson, said Shona. I don't want to go riding. Auntie Shona sniffed and, and, and went to fetch Daddy. I was sad. I was very sad. Hey Tig, nothing wrong with feeling sad. Nothing wrong with crying. Auntie Shona is sad and she's crying. But hey, Dobbin is happy now. Dobbin had had a great life at the stables. Everyone loved him. But Dobbin was very old and his legs hurt him. But now there's no more hurt and he's happy. He's galloping away in his dreams. You'll never forget Dobbin. Dobbin helped you to like horses. And today, Dobbin is helping you for your very first riding lesson. So go for it, Tig. Feel sad, but happy for Dobbin. Whee! But most of all, have fun on your first riding lesson. Dobbin would love that. Yes, I thought. Dobbin showed me how to like horses and not be scared. Dobbin would want me to have fun riding on my very first horse. I put on my riding hat. Ready, I said. The new horse was called Topper. I like Topper. When Shona saw Wooly, she said, Ah! It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like riding Topper. I love Dobbin. And I love Wooly. Eating new foods. When I was little, my daddy had a birthday. I gave daddy a birthday cake hat. It's my birthday! Daddy looked funny. We had a surprise. Mummy took us to a restaurant. Willie came too. Inside the restaurant, there were lots and lots of tables. Mummy told Daddy to take his hat off. A grumpy man came along and told us to sit down. Menu for you. Mummy said the grumpy man was a waiter. Daddy was excited and did funny things. Take it. Oh, <laughs> stop it, just stop it. Sit up and behave. Mummy told him to behave and sit up straight. So, ready to order? I went to Fish Fingers. Fish Fingers. <laughs> there were no Fish Fingers. I think I might have the spaghetti. Daddy said I might like spaghetti. For you too? OK, thank you. Thank you. Then I saw a little boy. <laughs> the little boy disappeared. I looked under the tables and saw the little boy crawling towards me. Crash! <laughs> the grumpy waiter tripped. You shouldn't crawl around in restaurants, said Mummy. Mummy gave me a colouring book to colour in. The grumpy waiter landed our spaghetti plates on the table like aeroplanes. Then we sprinkled pepper with a giant pepper pot. Let's get stuck in. I looked at the spaghetti. It was all long and wriggly. With green and black bits. Mum said just to try a little bit. Just try a bit. I ate a black bit. Yuck! Do you not like ours? You ate an olive, said Daddy. I love olives. Daddy took away all the olives. Take this one. Oh, I got it. Try another bit, said Mummy. I wanted fish fingers. Hey, Tig. Not liking things is OK. So now you know what you don't like. 
Yuck! Find out what you do like. Mmm. I like spaghetti because it's fun and wriggly and yum in my tum. <laughs> hey Tig, your dad's got rid of the yucky taste, so have another go. I'll roll eat it all up for you. Mmm. Go for it, Tig. Tuck in. So I thought, I'll have another go. Oh, look at that big bit. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> it was yummy. That's brilliant. What a good girl. Oh, well, you're fun. loving it, are you? When I finished, the grumpy waiter took my plate away. Then the waiter came back oh, the with Daddy's birthday pudding. Look at that. This is the best birthday cake I've ever had. You really like it. I like new food. You like that? It's all just Yeah, you like that. Mm, you loved it. <laughs> I love Willy. Supermarkets. When I was little, I went shopping with my mummy to a supermarket. And you'll see and you'll get a really good view. What do you think we should get for Daddy? Willie came too. Does he really like chocolate? The supermarket was big. The supermarkets sold everything. Ironing boards. Ironing boards. Toasters, televisions, washing machines. We didn't buy a washing machine. Mummy wanted food. I told Mummy where to find things. Carrots. Carrots. A cabbage. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Onions. A melon. A big melon. That's a heavy one. Oh. Apples, oranges, bananas. I'll pop them in the back there. Grapefruit. Two. Two, yeah, let's get two. And a pineapple. The pink ones. The pink ones. I didn't want to be in a trolley seat. Yeah, yeah, no, but what are you going to do? Tell me what you're going to Stay do. Stay next to you. Stay next to me all the time, good girl. Mummy said to keep close and hold onto the trolley. Can you manage? I help Mummy put things into the trolley. Milk. You're so strong. Mummy pushed the trolley. That's lots and lots of toys. I saw a fire engine. The fire engine had a ladder on top. I picked up the fire engine to show Mummy. When I looked, Mummy wasn't there. Tig! I ran down all the shelves and looked round the corner. Mummy wasn't there. Where was Mummy? I looked down some more shelves and some more shelves. No, Mummy. I thought Mummy had left me. Mum, where are you? I thought I was all by myself. Then I saw Willie. Hi, I've lost my daughter. We're just in the toy section. Willie hadn't left me. Hey, Tig, Mummy hasn't left you and Mummy hasn't run away. Mummy will be looking for you right now. Mummy loves you. Mummy will be just as worried as you are. You've just lost each other for a moment, that's all. When you ran up that way, Mummy was just behind you. <laughs> but when you turned the corner, Mummy didn't know which way you'd gone. You both keep moving around and missing each other. What a laugh! 
So the best thing for you to do is stay in one spot, here by the fire engines and me. Mummy will tell the store people and they will find you in no time. So we'll stay here and Mummy will come round the corner any minute. I waited in the one place. <gasps> Tug. And Mummy came round the corner. <laughs> I was so happy to see Mummy. Very much. Willie had a ride. The man was surprised to see Willie. <gasps> I got a little spider. Right. I love my mummy. I love Willie! My favourite dinosaur. When I was little, I liked dinosaurs. I had some toy dinosaurs. I had a stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. I had a tyrannosaurus. Rhinoceros rex. And a triceratops. Triceratops. But my favourite dinosaur of all is my Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Willie liked my Diplodocus too. I played with my dinosaurs a lot. Rawr. At nursery school, I painted a big, big Diplodocus. I gave my Diplodocus lots of leaves to eat. My friend Louise like dinosaurs too. Her favourite dinosaur was Tyrannosaurus. We played Tyrannosaurus games. Roar! One day Mummy said, What's your favourite dinosaur tick? Diplodocus. Well, said Mummy, Grandad is going to take you to see a real Diplodocus. A real one? I was frightened. It's in a museum. It's millions of years old, so it's just bones. OK, just bones. Just bones didn't Love sound that. very exciting. But I wanted to see Grandad. We went to see Grandad and the Diplodocus at a museum. Grandad was waiting. I love my granddad. Let's get up these big sticks. Big dinosaur jumps up. Let's go inside and see a real Diplodocus dinosaur. Hey, granddad. Wow. Oh, uh, no. There was a dinosaur. There was a Diplodocus. It was real. It was big. It was bigger than me. It was too big. I was scared. What do you think, Tig? A real Diplodocus? Come on, Tig. Let's go and look at something smaller first. Come on, Tig, said Mummy. Maybe we should look at something smaller. Mummy took me to a room full of bones. Mummy looked at the bones. I was scared. There was no roaring. But what if the Diplodocus sat on Grandad? Hey, Tig. Big, strange things are scary. But this big, strange Diplodocus dinosaur is just a lot of old bones. Just a lot of old bones like these ones, only much bigger. A lot of old bones strung together to show what a Diplodocus looked like millions of years ago. So this Diplodocus dinosaur won't stomp or roar or sit on Grandad. This Diplodocus is just for you to look at. So now you know that the scary Diplodocus dinosaur is just a load of old bones, there's no need to be scared anymore. Go for it, Tig. Have another look at your favourite dinosaur. Yes, I thought. I want to look at my favourite dinosaur again. I crept up in Grandad's. I was pleased he hadn't been sat on. Just you! I thought it was a dinosaur come to life. <laughs> Grandad and me looked around the big, big dinosaur. Roar! It was just old bones. When I showed Willie to the Diplodocus, it looked a little scared. Don't stomp away, 
I said, he's only my toy spider. I like the podcast. It's my favourite dinosaur. But I love Willy. The dog. When I was little, my granny got a new dog. I went to visit my granny and her new dog with my daddy. Willy came too. In the park, on the way to Granny, we saw lots of dogs. I wanted to play with the dogs. Can we play with the dogs? No, we don't know the dogs. Daddy said no. He said we should leave the dogs we don't know alone. I had fun just watching the dogs. Granny's dog was called Herbie. Hello! You come and see. I asked to see Herbie. He's in the kitchen having breakfast. Granny said we should leave Herbie alone when he was eating. We just watch. Daddy was looking in a cupboard. Daddy was trying to find a dog bed for Herbie to sleep in. Daddy found his old drum set. I made lots of noise on Daddy's drums. Then I heard another noise. Stink! Herbie doesn't like the noise. Herbie was barking in a rage. I didn't like Herbie barking. Daddy found his old space hopper. The hopper was fun. I bounced around the garden. Come on, Herbie. Let's see what's happening. Come on. I bounced up to Herbie. Herbie barked. Herbie looked scary. I didn't like Herbie. Listen, Tig, I think I'd better take him back inside. He's getting too excited. Granny took Herbie back inside. Here's one bed for Herbie. Daddy found a bed for Herbie. Do you want to come for a walk with Herbie? No. No, I said. I didn't like dogs. OK. Hey, Tig, you don't like Herbie because you don't know Herbie. Ruff. You need to get to know Herbie in just the same way Herbie needs to get to know you. Ruff. So what does Herbie like and what does Herbie not like? Granny says Herbie likes to eat in peace. Ruff. When you did your drumming, you found out that Herbie doesn't like loud bangs. When you bounced up to Herbie on the space hopper, you found out that Herbie gets frightened easily. He's like most dogs. And Herbie's barking, ruff, is his way of telling you what he's feeling. Ruff, ruff, woof, woof. So when you meet Herbie again, be very quiet and still. Don't touch Herbie until Granny says you can. That way, you'll get to know Herbie. Yes, I thought. I want to get to know Herbie. I want to like Herbie. Uh, can I see Herbie? Yeah, come on. I'll be very quiet. What a great girl. Granny was getting Herbie ready for his walk. I was very quiet and still. That's a good girl. Granny said I could stroke Herbie gently. That's it. Now, do you want to take him out? Take Herbie to the we took Herbie to the park. I like getting to know Herbie. Oh, got Herbie Here he goes. Come on, give us the Come on, give us Come on, give us it. Oh, I'm yeah. not sure if he likes my toy spider yet. It's only my toy spider. I like Herbie. And I love Willy. Fussy. Morning, Tig. Daddy, where's Mummy? When I was little, my mummy went away to look after Grandad. I'm here to look after you and Willie, said Daddy. Let's get you dressed. 
Daddy just dumped my clothes on the bed. I like my clothes laid out like a scarecrow. I said, Let's get you dressed. When I got dressed, Daddy got it all wrong. Trousers? Daddy forgot my socks. Went on before my trousers. I got socks on I had to get dressed all over again. Arms, one of those arms. Right, and there's Willie. Come on, let's go through and have some breakfast. Come on, we'll get your breakfast. At breakfast, Daddy poured my Aussie flakes into a mountain. Daddy, I don't want to add a mountain flat. All right, would you? Mean? I like my Aussie flakes poured flat. Right, take here's your milk. Then Daddy poured milk from the edges instead of the middle. Daddy, not from the sides, in the middle. Well, can you make a hole for it? Daddy gave me the wrong spoon. Daddy, I want my special spoon. Oh, okay. Daddy's rubbish, isn't he? You get stuck in. After breakfast, Daddy wanted to play with my bricks. I didn't like Daddy playing with my bricks. Daddy, Is that the way you're meant to do it? He got all the colours and shapes the wrong way round. I sat in my little house. After a big bit, Daddy said, Come on, Tig, we're going indoor sledging. Do some indoor sledging? Yay! Look, I've got your snowsuit and I've got your wellies. Come on then. Daddy had my waterproofs and my Wellington. When we arrived at the sledging, I was hungry. So Daddy took me for some lunch. I didn't like my lunch. My peas were next to my fish and not by my potatoes. I just ate the potatoes. The indoor sledging was inside. Daddy wanted me to put on my waterproofs. We need to get changed. No, I said. I wear my waterproofs outside, oh not inside. We can't go sledging then, said Daddy. Everything was wrong today. Nothing was just how I like it. Hey, Tig, always doing things in exactly the same way makes you feel safe and happy. But no one can know exactly how you like things to be done because everyone is different. Some things are important to one person, but not to another. No need to be fussy. Which sock goes on first or where the peas go on your plate doesn't matter. Putting on your waterproofs inside for a change won't spoil your day. Whee! It'll mean you can go inside sledging! <coughs> go for it, Tig! Stop fussing and have fun! Yes, I thought. There's no fun fussing. Daddy, can I put my wet... I like doing things differently today with my daddy. What do we say? One, two, three, let go! Whoa. We had fun inside, indoor sledging in my waterproofs. When a lady saw Willie on my sledge, she nearly fell over. I don't like being fussy. I like having fun with everyone. And I love Willie. The wedding. When I was little, I had to go to a big house where my auntie Shona was getting married. Willie came too. Tig, why don't you come and have a look at your dress? There was a dress. It was very pretty. It was my dress. I was a flower girl. Oh, I have a tiara. Isn't it lovely? Yes, auntie Shona was having her face painted. Mummy helped me put on my dress. Oh, Tig, what a pretty flower girl. Granny said I looked very pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. My auntie Shona said I looked very, very pretty. Auntie Shona gave me a basket of flower petals. 
Miss Lottie, my dancing teacher, was in charge of the wedding. Good luck. We followed Miss Lottie. There were lots of people in the big room. My friends Timmy and Louise and Mr Tonka and the Giggly Lady and Granny and Mummy had all come to see me. Auntie Shona's boyfriend Clive pushed in next to Auntie Shona. Please be seated. Miss Lottie started talking. She talked and talked and talked. I'm happy to officiate her marriage to Clive. When I looked at Granny, she was crying. Poor Granny. I didn't want my Granny to cry. So I did my special dance to cheer Granny up. Granny liked my special dance. Granny stopped crying. <laughs> Mummy came along and stopped my dance. <laughs> Mummy said we had to get more pestles. I didn't want to stop my dance. I was having fun. Mummy had spoiled my fun. And everyone right. else is fun too. I'm just going to get some more petals taken. Whee! Hey Tig, it's not nice being stopped when you're having fun. But sometimes fun things have to stop so that other important things can be done. At Shona's wedding, the most important thing to be done is for Shona to be married to Clive. Miss Lottie can't marry Shona and Clive while you're doing your lovely dance. So Mummy is only stopping your fun so that Shona and Clive can be married. Hey and Tig, don't worry about Granny. She wasn't sad crying, she was happy crying. Ding dang dong dong ding dang dong dong. So go for it, Tig. Help to make Shona's day a happy, happy wedding day. Be a good flower girl and throw some petals. Whee! Yes, I thought. I am important. I'm the flower girl. But the most important of all is Shona. I'm going to make Shona's day the best day ever. I threw petals all over the floor. Auntie Shona was so happy. When Clive saw Willy, he got a fright. We all had a party. There was lots of dancing. I like being a flower girl. I love Wooly. Splash! When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me swimming at the swimming pool. Right, let's go and get changed. I know, why don't I take Wooly? Because we don't want him to get all wet, do we? Mummy took Wooly to watch. Daddy took me into our big room. Daddy helped me put on my swimming costume. Come on, Tig. Let's go to the pool. Who's excited? What's that? Can you go and have a shower? We had to have a shower. The shower was like the rain. I squealed. The pool was very, very big. There was lots of water. The water went on forever and ever, and nearly out of the window. Willie and Mummy sat in chairs. Mummy waved. I waved to Mummy. Say hi, Willie. A man splashed up and down the pool like a big sea lion. I held Daddy's hand. We saw some children. The children were splashing. Daddy put on my armbands. 
a lazy splash with her legs. I didn't like the splashing. I want to go and sit on the chairs with Mummy. I don't want to go swimming. Okay, well, Mummy said, why don't I take Teg to the little pool? Mummy took me to the little pool. Wooly came to. Here you go, Teg, look. There, Teg. Why don't you have a splash around? I don't like splashing, I said. Hey, Teg. A swimming pool might seem big and strange and full of sudden splashes, but a swimming pool is just like a big, big bath. You like a bath, don't you? So make it like bath time. You like playing boats in the bath, don't you, Tig? So have fun with this boat. There she blows! Hey, Tig. Now you can kneel in the water, it's much more fun. Here's another swimming game. Find the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Water in your mouth, spit it out. Well done, Tig, you found the frog. Looks like you got your face wet too. Bounce the ball up and down as hard as you can and see how many splashes you can make. So now you know, water and splashing is fun. So go for it, Tig. Have a splash with Daddy in the big pool. Yes, I thought. I like the splashing. I wanted to swim in the big pool with Daddy. Oh. I like the big pool. I like the splashing. I like the water all over my face. The big sea lion man saw Willy. <laughs> It's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I love splashes. I love swimming. I love Willy. The hat. Hi. Hello, parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat, a sailor's hat. I loved my sailor's hat. Willie really liked my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. Ah, a message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That would be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me! Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. Got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. Off we sailed on our big adventure. I think you'll find out. I'm the captain. I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Grandad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky. Spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Grandad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Grandad. We saw lots of boats. Fast boats, slow boats, and a battleship. Grandad spotted a fairy tale boat. Look, there's Peter Pan sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. When we went under one bridge, it got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! Oh, oh, my sailor.
other hat was gone. It floated away. You know, it wasn't my hat. Have my hat, said Grandad. No, I wanted my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, I, do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? I missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig, when you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My hat was just a thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willy was. Well, it's only a toy bag. I didn't miss my sailor set anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willy. Right, take here we are. Panda. When I was little, my daddy took me to see the animals at the zoo. I wanted to see a panda. Right, Tig, this is where we get the safari bus. We're going to have to wait for a bit. We well, had to wait for a special we'll bus up. to see the animals. Look at all the toy We waited animals. in a little shop. Do you know what, can you name it? There are lots of toy animals in the shop. I didn't want a toy animal. I have Willy. Then I saw some pandas. Daddy, can I get a panda? Can I have a toy panda, Daddy? We're going to go and see a real panda. Please, Daddy. No, Tig, said Daddy. I was grumpy. Come on, said Daddy. Here's the bus. Let's go and wait in the bus now. I think it's just coming. Yep. The bus was all stripy, but I didn't want to go in the stripy bus. I wanted a panda. I was grumpy. We saw lots of different animals. Wallabies. Pink flamingos. An African wild dog. We saw a chimp. Up and up the hill we went. We saw a cow. Tammy was excited. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. When we got off the bus, we saw a tiger. We saw a panther. We saw a big lion. We saw a leopard, but Daddy didn't see. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. We've got to play. We went over a wooden bridge. This is us walking through. To a little hut. Daddy didn't look at me. Daddy looked at zebras. This is just like Africa, said Daddy. Tig, it's just like the African plains. I was grumpy. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when you want something and you can't have it. It can make you feel grumpy. But hey, Tig, being grumpy can stop you enjoying what you do have. Whee! Being grumpy stops you seeing all the amazing things around you. The real animals that you've never seen before. The zebras. The flamingos. Whee! 
the lions, the tigers, we, and the pandas. Not toy pandas, but real pandas. So go for it, Tig. Have a look at the real pandas. And hey, Tig, if you want a cuddly toy, you've always got me. Yes, I thought. I don't want to be grumpy. Yes, Tig. Daddy, I'm sorry. I haven't got a toy panda, but I'm going to see a real panda. Should we go and see the, is this where the pandas are? I like seeing the panda. The panda eats a lot of food. When the panda saw Willy, he just looked. It's only a toy spy that's salty. Then the panda went to sleep. Oh, he's going back to sleep. Night, night. At the shop, right. Daddy said, Do you want here. a toy panda now, Tig? No, I said. I've seen a real panda. But my ears might get cold. I want earmuffs. Can I please have panda earmuffs instead? I like the real panda. I like real animals. It's good fun, wasn't it? I love Willie. Hey, Tig. 